Sky Fire Laser. We have all you need on fiber laser. Hi everyone, welcome back to the DIY laser welding series videos. In the previous two episodes, we took inventory of some necessary components for the laser welding machine and explained some basic wiring for the electrical panel. And today, we will give detailed explanation for the electrical installation of the laser source, water chiller, and the wire feeder. This is a circuit breaker, also known as disconnector. It is better to choose 663A, or you can choose a two-pole type. First, we take out the red wire. And one end connects to the disconnector. And the other end connects to this terminal. Then we take out a black wire and do the same as above. This is mainly for controlling the entire electrical panel of our power supply. Then we take the ground wire. One end connects to the ground copper plate and the other end connects to the ground terminal. First we take our laser source. This is the power cord of our laser source. It has a red and the yellow wire. There are live wire, neutral wire, and ground wire respectively. The neutral wire corresponds to the black wire, and the, since we choose the terminal block for the ground wire, we need to cut it. The power cord of our water shield is the same as the laser. The blue one is neutral wire and cross bill correspond here. There is also a thin wire with two wires of our water chill around. On our control card, there is a water chill alarm signal. The red one connects to the signal's interface one and the water chill alarm signal on port 4. The other blue one connects to the G and D of port 1. Take our wire feeder This is the power cord of uh, the wire feeder There is a plug on it We need to cut off this plug Strip the wires Inside the brown wire is the live wire neutral wire and the yellow green one is brown wire. Strip each of them.
connect the brown wire to the light wire terminal and the blue wire to the neutral wire terminal and the yellow wire to the, to the ground terminal Another wire is the signal wire of the wire feeder. It mainly controls the forward and reverse rotation of the motor, including the wire feeding and the retraction. Here, it is labeled as the wire feed positive and wire feeding negative, and our control card signal in phase 2. There are, these two wires are labeled with one 2 star and one 3 star. Insert them into the back of our wire feeder. This is the standard configuration in our laser. It mainly serves as the control signal of our laser source, including the commonly used uh, laser enabling which are labeled. One end of this signal wire plugs into the laser where there are male and female connectors. Tighten them with a screwdriver. The other end has nipples such as the laser abnormality, laser enable signal, and a PW positive and a negative. First, we find the PW positive and correspond it to the level. Then we find the PW negative. The third one is the 0 to 10 volt analog in on our signal level it is marked as AD positive next connect the laser abnormality wire which is also labeled as the fault positive next connect the laser emission enabled is enabled as enable positive. We also have an enable negative and the AD negative and the fault negative. Cut them them together and connect to the GND of the signal interface 4 and connect another ground wire to the ground Cooper plate and no need to worry about the rest in our laser accessory there is a bag which contains the octangular quick plug uh, take four wires of approximately the same length. Two of them need to be cut here and press in the wires. Do the same for the other end and press the in the wires to the terminals. And the other three are the same. Approximately like this, two for group. Then insert this into our laser source. And open the communication wire. This is mainly used to connect to our PC-based laser control software.